Clint Dempsey and Sanzusi. Take a look at the starting 11. Someone Bruce Arena quite familiar with in the Panamanian Nets. Jaime Pinedo, the ex-Galaxy netminder. And then two guys I'm sure you appreciate watching, Torres and Beloy. Absolutely. You, you always want to find those, uh, those those center halves doing their jobs and certainly two of the tougher ones of this hex. Uh, this Ruiz Tejada, another former MLSer, now 35 years of age up front, playing his ball in Peru at Universitario. For the U.S., Tim Howard. Now, maybe this would have been Brad Gazan, but uh, congratulations to Brad on the birth of his new bouncing baby daughter. Graham Zussi, it had to be playing with an injury in that first match. But Jeff, are we? And a false start. If he does that again, he gets ejected, right? I think so. Oh, yep. Okay. We are underway. Michael Bradley looking long. Polisic trying to make that angled run. It falls for Dempsey, who then falls himself out into the corner. Polisic refusing to get bumped off the ball and winning a throw in early. Drives on Zeus, who does a good job to block it, and now Polisic back. Polisic upfield, and the ball gets away from him. Only about 140 pounds, and I think that's after the uniform soaking wet. But he never seems to shy away, Jay. No, you're always going to get fight from those kind of players. These are the guys that really are the engine of your team, the guys that are always going to make that crowd go crazy, and guys that really work for their team. And that's what this Panamanian team needs to do tonight. They need to work together. They need to stay compact. Tejada from long range. Panama has been on their front foot. More in the box. Near post throw. Bounces into the waiting arms of Tim Howard. Tejada wanted a little more help from Torres. Villafania. A little change of pace and a good credit ball forward. Into the middle for Altador. Tries to settle, but it gets away. And Roman Torres. Bulisic on the wings. Quintero to Torres. Up steps Omar. All out on the far side. Inside looking for Cooper, but Gomez couldn't find him. The earthquake midfielder inside. Again, Gonzalez clears, but only as far as Cooper. The shot whistled wide of Howard's net. No real danger from Gabby. Well, this, I guess, in some ways, a recap of what we saw against Trinidad from the Canaleros. They had 14 shots. Neither team have it thus far. From the corner, it's Beloy. And it was towards goal, but high. And Tim Howard not too pleased that the big man got. He'll be talking about that for sure in their preparation for this U.S. national team. Right sure. into the area. Jones heads it down, but straight to Pineda. The current Galaxy man to the ex galaxy goalkeeper and the errant to us why are you trying so hard and that's because even in a game they didn't need to win they hate to lose yeah and i think that's ingrained in the players you know it's it's a u.s mentality to make sure that every game matters as much as the next to put on that badge you're nice never going to get a proud right up to Pulisic. Pulisic on the left foot and a brilliant tackle coming across by ovaye credit to jermaine jones Starting to see a lot more movement from the attackers for Panama. That raises questions for the U.S. Ream does a good job stepping up and cutting off the angle. It becomes even more important. Malloy and see Jermaine Jones there. And get point Pulisic to. The one thing you don't want to do is to give up a goal heading into the half. And Zussi left in the dust. Quintano in the box. Quintano parried by Howard and cleared by Zussi as he makes it up. Oh, we want to have that one back. Bruce Zussi with the touch, only as far as Quintero, but can't get the ball in. Little mix up between Omar and Reem, who seem to have switched, but then Reem does a good job shielding Tejat. Into the middle by Machado, chance on the volley, but Quintero with the miss hit. Cleared away by Omar Gonzalez. Lays it off for Godoy in a nice tackle by Zussi. And he's looking for the home run. Altador in a foot race with Beloy. Josie Altador doesn't really want to be chasing down the wings. Panama having such a strong defense. Four goals in nine games is, is good for any defense in any, at any
any level. Malloy gets stripped. Polisic in the box. Polisic. Polisic at the six. Squares. Shot. Dempsey. Goal. Number 56. And it's thanks to the kid. Just like that, the U.S. takes the lead. Not only the hustle to get the ball back here, but the patience to get around. Stop. Patience. Head up. Find the man. Clint Dempsey makes it gold every time. And now Landon Donovan just one goal away. Dempsey Not only did he take on goal. Beloy, about 30 yards out on an angle. Lifted by Torres, edge of the six, off the head of Omar or Jones, and out for a corner. That was dangerous. back on defense along with Nagby and need to move back a few yards I'd like to see that you can see those defenders organizing pointing Machado deep loose at the six from Machado. Real long. Go in. Bit of a deflection down. Now it's too late flying to the side. near post. This is where you see Bradley slide in. Ream just kind of turns his back. What should the defense have done there? By Gabriel Gomez. Two late goals in the opening half and we are tied at one. Second half underway. Bill Shane and Jay Demerit with you. The goals coming in the last six minutes of the opening half. Jay, if you're going to put your... I was wondering if they were just going to lay back and take the point. It doesn't look like it. Well, I don't think that that's going to happen when you have a Pulisic and a Nagby going at people trying to break those midfield lines. You could see that. Obviously, you looking to pass sideways of himself all over again in some ways similar to what happened with Landon Donovan when he went on sabbatical why for Biafania decent cross met on the volley but Polisic denied by a diving Beloy I think we're underestimating how other look here great effort from Biafania great cross in Polisic actually has to contort his body to time it and you're right Beloy changing the angle now back for Nagby drives it low to the near post but off target in towards Tejada now back wide Machado Canalero starting to build some rhythm the far side Quintero double teamed towards the goal line to see with the touch and off of Quintero who again in for Tejada lifting it up but he got too much underneath and a chance for Tim Howard Otto, then run down by Godoy and a free kick for the U.S. This is not the last time these two teams will meet this year. July 7th if you live in Nashville you'll get the chance Gold Cup play 13. Bradley headed across. Good idea by Dempsey but Pinedo over. Los Rojos, Torres across the middle. Andy Torres, only five foot eight, but he knows where to be. Not it down, Torres, edge of the six, Howard! The ball from Tejado was halfway through his legs, and somehow Timmy Howard stops. Consistency both ends of the balls, and that's what you want. That's what Bruce Arena is going to be looking for in his squad, especially moving into a busy summer. He's got Enriquez about ready to check in, but first a chance for Torres in the box, and he tries to go high near post. Reinforced him just wide enough. Back towards Torres, the big dog hunting. Tries to play it into the middle, but Bedoya with them stride for stride. Line in Machado just got there. Panama. Hungering for those three points. Four in the box. Back for Tejada. 
and he practically sends that one back to Salt Lake. And that is going to do it. Dempsey in the 39th, Gomez in the 43rd, and a scoreless second half. The United States, a point in...